Okay, so for the arms, we are going to start with the white color yarn and we'll do the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'll pull the yarn to close the gap. And place my marker. Okay, so now in the second round, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so increase. and increase the next stitch and increase all the remaining stitches okay so after that now in the next two rows which is row three and row four we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each round so I'll see you when you're done with the fourth round so that we do the fifth row together. Okay, so after the fourth round, this is how our arm looks like. So now in the fifth round, we're going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of nine stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two and decrease. And repeat two single crochets and decrease and repeat that again one more time so two single crochets and decrease Okay, so now in our seventh round, we are going to do seven single crochets and decrease at the end. So single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and decrease. Okay, and then uh, before we continue, because after here you're going to change into the main color yarn. So in my case, it will be the orange yarn, and then you put the fiber fill before we continue. Okay, so as you can see, I already put uh, a little fiber fill at the bottom part of the arm and I changed my yarn to the orange color. So I just tied it over here. So now in the seventh row, we are going to do single crochets all the way until the end. So we'll have a total of eight stitches. Okay, so continue and do single crochet. all the way until you get to the end okay so now after we are done with that now from here we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of eight single crochets in each round okay so you can do uh, the arm as long as you want to your preference so in my case, I did a total of 30 rows with the orange yarn, but you can make it longer or shorter according to the way you want it to tie on your curtains or according to the size of your curtains. Okay, so continue all the way until you get uh, the length that you want and then you're going to cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. 
and then after that we'll do the legs okay so for the legs we'll also start with the white color yarn and we'll start by doing six single crochets in the magic ring in the first row so i already did that so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll increase and increase the other stitch increase the next stitch and increase the remaining three stitches okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase and repeat single crochet increase and repeat that all the way round okay so now after that now for the next three rows which is from row four until row six we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each round okay so I'll see you when you're done with the sixth round so that we do the seventh round together okay so now after we are done uh, with the sixth row this is how it looks like so now in the seventh row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and we'll do that four times so we'll do single crochet then decrease so that's one time single crochet decrease two single crochet decrease three single crochet decrease four okay and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining six stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six okay so now we have a total of 14 stitches okay so now in our eighth row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and we'll repeat that three times okay so single crochet then decrease so that's one time single crochet decrease second time and single crochet decrease third time and then now in the remaining five stitches we'll do single crochets okay so now we have a total of 11 stitches okay so now we are going to uh, fill in uh, what the bottom part of the leg and change the yarn color to the main color yarn okay so as you can see i've already changed my yarn color and stuffed the bottom part of the leg so now in the ninth row we are going to start by decreasing so we'll do a decrease and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining nine 
stitches okay so you'll do single crochet single crochet and you continue doing single crochets until the end okay so now after that now for the next five rows which is from row 10 until row 14 uh, we're going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 10 stitches okay so i'll see you when you're done with the 14th row so that we finish up together okay so after the 14th row this is how the leg looks like okay so now to finish off i'm just going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and cut off a yarn long enough for sewing okay so after that we're going to make the outer part of the ear okay so our ear has two parts so we have the inside part and the outside part like this as you can see so this is the inside part with the white yarn and the outside part with the orange yarn okay so for the outside part we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six okay so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase and increase the next stitch and increase all the remaining stitches okay so now after that now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet then increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in our fourth row we are going to do single crochets all the way round until the end for a total of 18 stitches so you continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end of the row okay so when you get to the end of the row I'm going to remove my marker and then I'll slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing Okay, so now we'll make the inside part of the ear. Okay, so for the inside part, I'm going to use the white yarn. And you're going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring in the first row. So I did that already. So now in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay. So we'll increase and increase also in the next stitch and you'll increase in all the remaining stitches. Okay, so now in the third row, which is the last row, we are going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat three times. For a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three then increase and repeat three four 
three single crochets then increase and one more time three single crochets and increase Okay, and then I'll remove my marker, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn. Okay, so when now when we're putting the uh, the ear together, we have to make sure the orange part, the outside part, is the right side. And then the right side of the smaller ear is going to face up so it will look like this so you can use the fabric glue to join the two together or also you can sew using a needle on the inside using a white yarn like that okay so now we'll make the tail Okay, so for the tail, I'll use uh, the main color yarn. And uh, I'm just going to make a chain 20 first. Okay, so we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven eight nine ten and you continue until you have a chain 20 okay so after you have a chain 20 we are going to turn uh, our chain like this as you can see and we are going to do single crochets on the back side of the chain so we'll have 19 single crochets so i'll go here And do single crochet and I'll continue like that single crochet so this is how it's gonna look like And you continue doing single crochet all the way until you get to the end okay so after we get to the end this is what it looks like so I'm just going to cut off the yarn long enough for sewing like that okay so now we are going to join all the parts together Okay guys, so you can, as you can see, I've already finished attaching all the parts together. So what I did first is um, I attached the arms to the side and you have to make sure they are on the extreme side or you count the first row of the body here and you attach it over there and on this other side and then after that i attached the ears over here so they have to be in line together as you can see okay so make sure the ears and then the arms and the legs are all in line together okay and for the ears you count one two three four and on the fourth stitch uh, from the top you attach your ear over there and on this other side the same way and then after that i attach here the mouth and i accounted i counted from the bottom of the head so one two three and on the fourth row from the bottom that's where i attached uh, the mouth and make sure it's at the center of the face okay and then for the legs from the bottom over here I counted one two and then on the third row that's where you attach 
the leg on this side and on this other side okay as for the eyes i used a permanent marker uh to make them to draw them on or you can use a needle to embroider them same as the mouth i used a permanent marker or if you have the doll eyes you can use them okay and then uh for the small tail as you can see over here i attached it slightly above the leg um at the center over here so this is how it looks like okay so now when you're tying the curtain you can see you're just gonna tie the arms together like this okay and that's how it's gonna look as you can see so cute so guys i hope you enjoyed this video today if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time bye